Hello everybody, welcome to Org Cheerleader Tiddies, uh, game number 5-6. They're 3-1-1, they should be 4-1-0. Down 280 TV, finally an unbalanced game. They've been, been remarkably lucky actually getting even TV matches. And now, well at least he's got, you know, some TV in a, in a bit of a shit player. That's not a blodger, that's not a blodger. So he's only got three blodgers. And his TV advantage are loners. He's got a terrible record considering he's Wood Elves. <laughs> it's funny, uh, an Orc team with that record would be like, that's alright. But a uh, Wood Elf team, you're like, what's he playing at? Farag, maybe, extra mighty blow. Wizard isn't going to be too effective. Ooh, Ripper. Ripper is good, he's slow, but he's good, isn't he? I'm tempted by Ripper. Could go Bolgrot and a wizard. Farag's good though, isn't he? He's fast. It's more speed against, I think I'm gonna go for him, even though Ripper's better. More speed against Woody's has got to be good, hasn't it? He, he had four journeyman lemon is good. Um, could have gone so bribe by, but. The problem with the saw is it's shit. And the problem with the wizard is um It's not that good against Woodies, is it? Against Woodies, the wizard is there in case you get turned over. And you can um you can bolt them to get it back, basically. So I'd rather have sixteen turns. Like you know, I'd rather increase the speed of my team by having uh by having Varag in. That's a good shout, to be honest. <laughs> I still like to play properly, though, fast. Maybe I shouldn't, but I don't want it to be... I don't want the stream to be how to <laughs> how to crush noobs. I want it to be how to play properly to win Blood Bowl games. <laughs> and I feel like doing some dumbass thing of just taking shit skills, like fucking extra arms, because one of the ways you can lose to shit is, is by every pickup roll being a one. It just doesn't appeal to me. God, Varag's got to hit this uh, this guard guy, hasn't he? Defenseless guard player. No pressure. Getting out bashed by Wood Elves again. <laughs> wow, that's brutal Fashbinder.
pretty great first turn. I don't know what I was expecting really, you know. Can't afford a double skull, can I? That's okay. It's not that easy to break through, I don't think. I really hate the decay of points. I think I really hate all these points decay ideas. What I do like is the fumble system where if you don't play for a while, um, you keep the same points, but you just don't appear on the leaderboard anymore. I think that's a good way of doing it. That's a very good way of doing it, to be honest. I like how after, after making making four blocks and him making none, I was getting out bashed by Wood Elves. <laughs> and because, that, yeah, he stays stunned, doesn't he? Yeah. Oh, God. Return, just play again. Just they just play. So like, if you if you haven't played for a while, you're removed from the leaderboard. But you just play a game, then you're back on it. I think that's a good system. No, I didn't double skill. It was, uh, it was all right. It was a, it was a thrown rock. <laughs> it was a thrown rock. And yeah, he stays done. That's fucking annoying, isn't it? Right. So I can get all the way up here. Three dice him. Four black orcs can go out in front, can't they? Oh, don't you dare suit on him. Oh, man. Bring any armor. Yeah, I'm planning to. <laughs> Whether it happens or not is a is another thing, isn't it? Yeah, of course I'm afraid to base the elves. If you base the elves, then... Um then it just gives them better chance to get into the cage, doesn't it? Like, you've got to protect the ball at all costs. Yeah, 
Yeah, it's true, isn't it, freak? It's the same for everyone, like. I'm on an, I, you know I mean? I don't think I'm fucking the crazy, unlucky guy or whatever. But it's it's like that for everyone, isn't it? You know, and then obviously there's the odd game where it's not like that. But you just kind of notice when other people's AV7 breaks, don't you? Well, when other people's AV7 doesn't break, you notice more. Right, well now that this guy is finally not stunned anymore, could actually try to make a bit of a move. He has got to commit players. It's not easy for him to hit him. To try and make something happen. This sound. <laughs> no fluffy burrito. It's um, it's absolutely. I'm fi finishing every game now. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Varig is good, and especially good against the against Wood Elves to get an extra movement, isn't it? That's the thing. Big weakness is lack of movement, so patching that up is fair enough costing more. Like Silly Billy should probably cost more than he does. Because um you know, you're patching up a skink with a Saurus. Yeah, I've won love playing against invincible boys. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's annoying, isn't it? Never breaking their armor is gets to be. And not only does this war dance have hidden mighty blow, he has real mighty blow as well. On top of that hidden mighty blow. <laughs> He can't be gonna cage dive, surely. Doesn't make any sense. Oh, he got stripped, so it's not even that bad odds. The sad thing is, it's not even that fucking bad odds, is it? <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> Didn't get killed off the one dice. Is he gonna cage dive or is he just gonna one dice blitz? He's gonna one dice blitz. Get the power. I was, gonna be, I was just about to say, at least it sets up a two dice in its black hole, but then dodged away anyway. Oh man, get to hit the ward answer. No, no, I don't. <laughs> get to hit him though. Mm, 
maybe do it with with Varag to use less players. All right, block him first. Because, like, why not? to make it safe. Safe moves first. Got him. Well done, Varag. You sexy bastard. So he can go forward, they can both go forward, he can come in. I mean, I guess you don't even need to do that with guards, all the guards around. So I can move Black Orcs here. All's fine there, isn't it? I think these bases are okay because they're all strength four. So it takes a little bit of work to dislodge them, doesn't it? All the strength four based is Yeah, I did know that soon. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's, that's, it is funny, isn't it, Sean? It's like it's like Citadel Finecast, isn't it? Fucking Citadel Finecast. They were like, oh, it's, they, they just they just switched the production, so they 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 changed it to make pr production cheaper. <laughs> that was the only difference. Finecast. The only difference between before Finecast and after Finecast was they made the production cheaper. They lowered the production cost. That that was that was what Finecast was. So then they sell it as if there's more detail and it's called Finecast and it's the best thing ever. You should totally pay loads of money for sh for shit at all miniatures. And uh, yeah, and then some people fucking bought it as well, didn't they? They're like, oh yeah, it's Finecast. Ooh. It's a mix of it's a mix of resin with, with plastic basically to make it cheaper. But the only point was to make it cheaper. <laughs> and then they were like, Oh yeah, it's totally it's totally amazing technology to make more detail. <laughs> right, these little fuckheads are only movement five, aren't they? Which is a bit of a problem. But I have to get to there. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm going to have to make a GFI this turn with somebody. One, two, three, four, five, GFI. I'd like to say I don't hate it, but I do hate it. Maybe I can just go for the Blitz first, see what happens. I don't 
can't see, I can't reach. I can reach. Shit. Let's go for the both down, eh? If I do that, it might be better. One, two, three, four, five, six, no, it doesn't. Two GFIs, isn't it? Or is it? Can he go at the back there? No, it's a it's a lot of GFIs, whichever way you go. I pretty much fucked this up, didn't I? I guess I didn't need to go this far forward. But I think it's pretty good getting this far forward. Especially with those guys. 4 on 2 over there is pretty good, isn't it? And those three all down. Where is your rogue thrower? <laughs> Yeah, maybe I didn't make those GFIs. I could have eye caged it. Yeah, maybe. Maybe I should have just eye caged it. Yeah. Oh, do you know what? I no, I'm actually using a, a a fucking what's it called a mouse, and I can't decide whether it's the uh, it's the mat that's crap or it's the mouse that's crap. But um, one of them is definitely crap. I think it's probably the mouse that's crap. He's going for his play. Come on, fucking die on the leap. Shit. Oh yeah, there wasn't a guard there. Oh my god, I'm a dumbass. I put didn't put guard on the other opposite corners. <gasps> oh no. Oh, he really did the right thing going for it then, didn't he? Holy shit, that was dumb. So I could have gone there and then I would have saved the GFI as well. He could have got there and it would have saved the GFI and I'd have had a guard on the opposite corners. Wow, that was really dumb. Well, deserved. Absolutely deserved. I can't, I can't even complain. Deserved to lose. Brilliant. <sighs> yeah, that was that was that was so dumb. I don't know what I was thinking. It'd been okay if he was there. Brilliant. 
No, I can't. It was my fault. <laughs> Don't be silly, Duran. <laughs> I mean, you know, I, I let people say a lot of dumb things in my chat, but that really takes the piss. <laughs> fault for not putting my guard on my play. I just don't know what I was thinking. Well, I wasn't thinking, obviously. I mean, to be fair, if he'd had an uphill dice, he'd have probably rolled double puff. Double puff? Double push. So... But you let your opponent fucking get a one dice on you. You're going to lose, aren't you, against Wood Elves? That's why. That's why they're the best team in the game, isn't it? Basically. Like, yeah, he was lucky, but it was my fault, wasn't it? That's the thing. At the end of the day, it's my fault. So, it's not like when your best player gets hit by a rock and there's nothing you can do. That's the absolute bullshit. That's the worst of the worst, isn't it? And, like, yeah, he got lucky after he... But then he was kind of unlucky to use his reroll on the, on the first three plus, was it? The whole the whole thing working wasn't that crazy. He had show hands on the pickup. He had pass on the pass, catch on the catch. Right. Try to score a two turn. Oh, yeah, I don't even know how. Potato with Barrow. Frogman on two, no, Pedro Jack get him on one. In case of a MVP. Yeah, exactly, the minus two D. But he might not have gone for it if it was a minus two D, that was the thing, wasn't it? He saw his chance with it being a one D. And it was it was my fault that he, he saw his chance. I needed the removal to do that. Right, GFI for him. Hmm, 
GFI to hit him and then run him down the middle. That seems like the best bet. Yeah, I can fail the pickup. <coughs> Pass might have been five plus. I think he's still in three tackle zones, wasn't he? <laughs> so I'm pretty sure the pass was a was a five plus. I mean it's a six, can't remember. He was in three tackle zones. The pass must have been The pass must have been a five or a six. Okay, maybe he was pretty lucky. Five plus. Oh he's agility five, wasn't he? Yeah, duh. He was agility five. So yeah, five plus pass, yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's a July 5. Three tackles on this fucking hell. But yeah, it's a July 5, isn't he? Roll some two pluses, win. That's elves. Not giving himself. Oh, okay, not giving himself an extra chance to knock him over, but he already got him. Fair enough. Right, one, two, three, four, five, six. Double GFI, so then he can do the pass. All right, blitzes, dodges. I don't think there's any way to chain him forward. As soon as he gets to punch somebody this way, I guess do this first. Three, four, five, six. GFI, GFI. Mm, this could be possible. Could be possible. as well. He's got accurate as well, holy shit. Oh, it's might have been in my ass thing, yeah, maybe it was a five plus thing. Oh yeah, it means that he gets surfed now, oh, shit. Make sure you bring an assist that you don't need. He hasn't got sidestep, mate.
Okay, that was the reason to do the handoff first. <laughs> got to somehow turn him over and win one and win one one <laughs> oh dear. I mean at least I beat the fuck out of him in the first half as you'd expect with two mighty blow against armor seven and basing him quite a bit and just teeing off and making probably 20 blocks that half if not more eight of them with mighty blow it probably is more than eight blocks of mighty blow so it's not really surprising that I've wrecked his armor seven there um, kind of <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly, Tony. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. The thing is, the thing is, fluffy burrito and everybody else. The thing about war dancers is, every other player, no other player makes as high a percentage of the team's blocks as war dancers do, don't they? That's the thing. Because woodies are always like running around, and the. The, the war dancers are like making, you know, your 16 blitzers are pretty much always coming from the war dancers. And they're trying to limit contact as much as possible, Woodies. So, quite often, you could have a game where like you make 20 blocks and like 17 of them were done by war dancers. So. Eight percent, yeah, exactly. You think nothing of it if you roll a one, do you? Which is sixteen percent, so it's not it's not crazy. It's not insane. It wasn't insane. But but if I, if it had been a minus two D you might not have even tried it. That's the thing, isn't it, you know? So it was my fault for for not keeping it a minus two D. And I didn't need to go that much forward that turn. I did extend I did overextend a little bit. It wasn't required to go that far forward. I just saw the chance to go that far forward. But he was always going to be able to move and, and come back anyway. So, it was just bad play by me. Punished. Punished with the 8% result. I don't feel bad about that, really. It was, that was just my bad play. Whereas the other game, failing a 1 in 36. And, you know, to to 2 dice the ball was really annoying. And then the game against the gob the Snotlings, where you 3 dice, might you blow the ball carrier and an ogre catches it. They're they're pretty unlucky, aren't they? They're just like unlucky those ones. But this was this was my bad play, wasn't it? Ultimately, as wreckage would say. Blots. Not a very good kick though, but obvious it's an obvious all manzing situation, isn't it? it's a push Not so bad. Kabaddi, kabaddi, kabaddi.
<laughs> yeah, yeah, for real. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. Get an orc thrower, yeah. Yeah, to be fair, I mean, that is obviously the niche for the orc thrower is against against woodies before you get your hands on a blitzer. <laughs> yeah, that's a true suit on him. That's fucking true. Yeah, maybe I should have been more ballsy and put the mighty blow over here and the guard there. But I wanted people to be able to react, but I guess it just left open the sideline, didn't it? That was a bit dumb. You could definitely argue that was a bit dumb. I did, I did the Tyrion, didn't I? I did the Tyrian half mans. Rookie errors. And funny enough, maybe if I'd got the wizard, I could have, uh, I could have, you know, bolted him after he stole it. But then he would have probably just GFI and score then, wouldn't he? That was Fashbinder who invented the Tyrian Halfmans. Though, <laughs> had we known what we know now, it would just be called the Fashbinder. <laughs> That was a dumb player. <laughs> yeah, this is this has been a bad day, hasn't it? This has been a bad day of Blood Bowl. I mean, if it had been up to me, I would have quit after the first game. <laughs> so really, I mean, I guess I'm, you could say I'm tilting. Uh, there's been a lot of mistakes. Maybe it's because I'm tilting. I don't feel like I'm tilting. Like, because I, you know, some of the mistakes were, I just didn't care. Um, yeah. at, at one point, oh God, he's got to go this way, hasn't he? But, yeah, I guess I have, because uh, I've got to bit this guy, right? He's gonna put him. Kind of the push, kind of doesn't trap them, but does something. Hopefully, forgets to jump up on air. If I right. <laughs> Dear, we don't play all the fast day, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm 
know, it's it's tough to it's tough to beat Wood Elves who don't fail anything, and <laughs> in the entire match, and don't get anyone hurt in the entire match. <laughs> that is tough. But even then, it was it was I did make a mistake, didn't I? So there you go. Come on, you can fail a one in your hand. No. No, you can't. <laughs> Alright, well that was bizarre. Bizarre to dodge to assist the block. <laughs> and then, and then not block. One, two, three, four, five, six, GFI, GFI. I can't base the ball, but I think I'm going to threaten it. Come then. I like to blitz the water and so it just calls. Hit the one who is not loner. Ah, oh, but then his dodge away is harder. The ward answer into an extra block, can't he? Or a two assist foul. Don't foul the black hole. <laughs> like, the sad thing is, you can just long bomb it and it's not even hard. Shawnee's seeing as he's forced into action this turn with the stuns and the uh, Varag. Don't find anything, buddy. Whatever you do.
Maybe I should have put him in front of him so I'd have the chance of the interception. Because it's still just a 2 plus out, isn't it? Oh, wow. Punished, punished for the misplay? Unbelievable, Jeff. Unfucking believable. Outrageous. Outrageous that he was punished for the misplay. He didn't stand up his war dancer either. Wow. Alright, let's go then. Safe moves first. He wants to go there. I mean, he was forced into that by Varag. Lurking, wasn't he? One, two, three, four, five, six. So he can pick it up with a push. Hard to protect the ball, isn't it? That's the sad thing. Two, three, four, five, six. GFI, GFI. Or one, two, three, four, five, six. He's got guard right there, though. One, two, three, four, five, six. GFI and then I cage it. This way is safer though, isn't it? This has got the better payoff if the pickup works. If the pickup fails, I, it's only one in fucking 36 to get away anyway, so fuck it. Go for the bigger payoff thing. What about. Mm -hmm. Oh, that doesn't matter really. Right. Also, if it's a wrestle, I don't know what's up. Mm, that's not a wrestle. Wow. Well, all right, no GFIs then. Kind of works, doesn't it? <laughs> Holy shit, an armor break. Fucking hell, eh? <laughs> Fuck is that? Hey, sent off. But <laughs> you'll trade even a guard lineman for a ward and so on. <laughs> well done, Skuro. <laughs> the knob has pushed them down, it's crazy. To be fair, I made a few stuns. Like those two stuns, those two journeymen that were stunned was pretty good for doing stuff. And you finally filled the roll! Holy shit! Is he gonna one dice wrestle? Yeah.
Oh, he uploaded in the first half, didn't he? Oh. Oh, he uploaded it. Oh, fuck. Oh, he uploaded it. <sighs> Wasn't a removal. I thought he'd uploaded in the first... Oh, that must have been the Ogres. The Ogres uploaded a, a snotling. Oh, did he have did he have Dauntless? <laughs> oh, I didn't even know it. Oh, fuck it. Yeah, he might be, but that's that's why the mute's on. <laughs> Blitz him. One, two, three, four, five, six. Get those guys back. Foul him. Two, three, four, five, six. So you can go there. One, two, th one, two, three, four, five. So I've been out by, by Woody's without sending off. <laughs> right, now he's KO'd. Fucking piece of shit. say fucking piece of shit I obviously mean the war dancer right I'm two plus to power him so that's better than him two plus two plus to power him <laughs> two plus to not score which is better than him two plusing away isn't it Five proils a Saka or make him a retriever and use the edge for Saka. I'd probably go Saka if he didn't have anything yet. Because sacking's like the harder thing, isn't it? Sacking's the harder thing to do. You know, if you if you if you can sack but not recover, it's not the end of the it's not the end of the world, is it? He failed a pass, Will King. He had to GFI. And then short pass and catch, but instead he chose to uh, a quick pass. He could have, he should have GFI'd quick pass and catched, but instead he went for a short pass and uh, failed. He rolled double two, so he was he was completely punished for the for the misplay. Yeah, the killing them would have been amazing. Are you still alive? That's a good question. Um, let's have a look. Skuro was sent off, wasn't he? So there's two Lionels left. Um, that, that's a journeyman who's got the guard. Um, and yeah, there you are on the bench. <laughs> sorry, sorry, a journeyman's getting a journeyman got guard. So there you go. Skurometo got guard. A journeyman got guard. So uh, relegated to the bench.
Near G4, Beastman. The Origins of Blood, sure hands two heads. I would I would start with blood. So I, I would start him as a utility player, but you can always take sure hands at the end, like if the other guy dies. So I wouldn't want to go wrestle. I'd want him to be potentially be a ball carrier. So I would go um I would go uh Block, tackle, two heads, all that sort of stuff. But then if your ball carrier dies, you can then... Uh... Oh, I could have just moved this guy around. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, I shouldn't do with this. Do the right move. Not the greedy one. I would have broken if I didn't the mighty blow. Fuck. Good, I think. Should have moved. Should have stood him up first. Double GFI. Why not? Maybe I should have just stood. I could have stood there. Maybe I should have stood there. I don't know. Maybe should have bit of my I wouldn't bother with leap or very long legs, no. Maybe if you've got plus edge, you could go leap and stuff. But, uh, like, when I say plus edge, I mean edge five. <laughs> I would go block. Block, tackle, dodge. Two heads. And then... But it just depends, you know, if your current ball carrier dies before his next level up, you can go show hands, can't you? Or whatever. Yeah, exactly, Shawnee. <laughs> exactly what Shawnee says. <laughs> nah, I don't think you need to take bad skills. You can just go block, edge four, block, tackle, two heads. That's four skills. That's already so far in the future, it's ridiculous. You don't get to the sixth skill. So the fifth skill could then be sure hands if you need it, or like even mighty blow or you know whatever, whatever, some random fucking thing, frenzy, it could be anything. But you know, you can decide dodge, there's all sorts of stuff. Yeah, it's the opportunity cost, isn't it? That's the thing. The opportunity cost is is the thing for all these all these skills like grab and everything. It's like, uh. <laughs> see. Oh, there you go. Black Orc getting one dice to oblivion seems uh, reasonable. Used his last reroll on a fucking random one dice to a fucking. 
Black Hawk. Wow, he pushed him there. Wow. Thanks, buddy. Yeah, I'd like a mighty blow blow. Oh, right, that's why he did it, of course, of course. Of course that's why he did it. God, I'm so fucking stupid. When am I going to learn that I can just never succeed in action? No, I'm probably just going to lose 2 now. now. Just make some 2 pluses. Oh, fuck me. I hit the ones for him. Ah, fuck this game. I mean, if that had screamed it, it would have been worth it. I should have moved him to here. Or even here. And then he could have gone to there and that would have worked. Escape there. <laughs> oh man. I can't believe he just gave up a mighty he pushed him deliberately to give away a mighty blow block. And then I rolled a fucking one. Yeah, fumble noises are pretty great too. I, I think he does have a Konami threat, doesn't he? No, he doesn't. Well, he's winning 1-0. I mean, that's the whole point of a Konami threat, is that it's not a good idea, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I've just got it. <laughs> so I'll blitz him and dodge and try to score. Oh. I just wish he'd fail things, you know? I can't even. F like when he fucks up and gives us a mighty blow block. That was really crucial, I haven't been able to do that block. 
sort of fucking potatoing here, fucking the worst potato you've ever seen in your life. Can free up this black or what does it even achieve? Nothing. Like freeing people up doesn't even achieve anything at this point. Go for the four plus three plus or if, what if it's not a pal? Five plus four plus three plus I can't go that way. Could try to free him up somehow. Or him. Block him, block him. One, two, three, four, five, six. GFI, GFI. <laughs> Get it to him. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Let's go. Alright, step one failed. <laughs> Brilliant. Yeah, Blood Bowl. It's the best. Judge away. Fail to fucking block somebody. Full on potato, let's go. <laughs> yeah, that's right, that'd be pretty good. Even that cost us someone to get sent off, following two turns. I was actually surprised he didn't have a canoring threat because even though it was the wrong player, I am surprised. Is he just going to one dice? That's the question. Oh, he gets the guard in. Well, it might be a one dice if his dauntless fails, eh? Or if he hits from the wrong square like an absolute fucking idiot. It's just draining, isn't it, when people do things like this? Blood ball, man. Fucking blood ball. <laughs> Could have made it two dice. Just chose to make it a one dice. I wouldn't say it's easy to get out by any stretch of the imagination. Could 
for blocking. Hmm. Is it? Why is it comparatively easy? I don't think it's easy at all. <laughs> I don't know what you're seeing. I'm just going to go for what I think is the basic, not very good player. Score was it? <laughs> I mean, what? Block him down. Block, push him, and then it's a two dice. Oh, then then two dice him there, and then two dice him, and then it's a power. Yeah. I mean, it should have been a one 0 win, you know. If I'd, if I'd kept, if I'd put the guard in the right place on my drive, I just hadn't gone forward so far. Could have probably scored on my drive, and then I would have turned him over and won one nil, you know. Like so, it was, it was my fault. I don't feel that bad about that. Fourteen AV breaks, they were just all fucking stuns. Varag steals the MVP, classic. Forty five blocks to twenty six. And then, so 40% broke, which is about average, except had mighty blow. But the thing was, 16 stuns and 1 KO. <laughs> That's ridiculous. Made all three dodges, made 13 GFIs, shawnee like GFIs. Got broken 26% of armor. That's pretty unlucky to get armor broken that much. Failed one of the two jump ups. Failed four out of six pickups. Just what you need against woodies. Failed the intercept. Boo. Not triple skull against the, against the ogres though. That was the best one, wasn't it? Right, our team's dead now then, isn't it? It's just... I mean, in a way, in a way it was good. Because if they were 4-1-1, I'd probably still keep them at 4-1-1. That wouldn't be that bad, but obviously thanks to this this disconnection loss, they're dead. So, thanks Cyanide. Um, try to get fantastic Cyanide. Please don't have people, people fucking screwed out of wins because of your servers going down and don't rely on dole to fucking sort it out and then say ah i can't do anything about it anyway but um anyway thanks for watching if you enjoyed don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and stay fantastic